Whoa, hello. Right, mad air day going on. Yeah, looking all crazy. Right, basically, I just want to talk you through. I filmed a load of footage um, that was completely mental. Um, and it was all to do with basically fitting the diesel heater, fitting the battery and all that sort of good stuff. I had a hand with that though, and I don't really know what I'm doing with it, but now it's all in, I can kind of semi explain it to you. So I'm gonna chin off all that old footage, start from scratch here, and walk you through what we've been doing. Let's have a look. Things first is the release. Right, we're here in the engine bay of the van. Sick, sick, sick. Um, right, let's put that on there. All right, let's take this off first. That's just the cover for the main battery. What we've done is we've run a wire off the main battery that goes back to here, which is a little section that we're going to have to put a fuse in. But we don't have a fuse for that right now, so it's not up and running. You've then got um, like a transformer box, which is earthed on that bolt down there, if you can see that. Earthed down there on that bolt. That wire, red one, then runs back through the cab, comes down through behind the glove box, comes down this here, underneath the plastics that we had to rip away back through behind there, and then into the bad boy battery. So there's the battery, that's now hooked up underneath. We've made use of this room underneath the floor of the van, which is great. Um, you've then got a wire that comes off, that one, which then goes into this little box here. What's this, Jake, you ask? That's basically a junction box, and leading off there, we've got this red wire, which leads up to, uh, this little bad boy we fitted, which has got two USB slots to put in your phone and other various play toys, not being rude, uh, a 12 volt um, plug-in car extension there. It tells you your voltage outputage and you can turn that on and off. It's then, we brought a wire down behind and earthed it on that same bolt as the, um, I can't even remember what's behind there, I think that's that, which is the parking sensor, um, bloody blue, I don't know what it's called and it's connected to that via a bolt. So that's that bit of the wiring done. Um, we're then about to wire up um, using this cable which comes off the diesel heater which is under there which we made a metal uh, bracket for for it to sit on. A um, bit of metal smith in there going on. Um, that sits on there. We've then got the fuel pipe that runs all the way over the back underneath the side to the fuel can over there which is going to be connected to the back of the bench when the bench goes in and yeah that's that pretty much set up all we've got to do now is put this oh hope i didn't cut anything then on the sharpness put that bunch of wiring in which connects the diesel heater to this little junction box that we've got in there um and then that's your diesel heater um set up once we've got fuel in it um yeah so the battery's in that's in we had to cut away these metal bits so we could uh slide them in with the old grinder, um, the worksman tool, not the dating app. Yeah, that's pretty much all the electrical vibe sorted out. I just wanted to skim over it rather than actually talk about it in the videos to be fair, because I didn't really know what was going on because I, I was a big part of it, but I was kind of learning myself at the time, so I didn't want to put across to you guys stuff that I didn't really know myself and now I understand it. So if you're wondering, the diesel heater it's not just sat in there like that. Obviously, it needs an inlet and an outlet for its exhaust fumes and bringing in the air for it. So, I'm going to show you under the van now. We had to cut two holes through the bottom of the van using uh, a cone drill head, which was great. Uh, went through the bottom of the van and it allows the exhaust to go out and the intake to come in. I'm going to show you that now. So, they come out the back of the van. The black pipe is the air inlet, which you can see on the end there. It has... Uh, a little, it's like an air filter. I've put that facing backwards because I didn't want any uh, dirty residue to get in there and um, pollute the air. And then going forward is the exhaust and it's got a baffle on at the end, which you might be able to see. And it looks very messy because I've put a certain type of glue on it that uh, is, well, anti uh, heat resistant and won't be all dodgy. It doesn't write about it being messy too much because it's under the van and no one can see it. So that's the diesel heater set up uh, and the battery. It's been the hardest bit at the moment because I've not really had anything to do with it. Um, all we need to run off these, off this junction box as well as the diesel heater is the lighting that we're going to have uh, one back there and one over there in that corner. Um, which, as you can see now, check that out. I've cracked on with putting the boarding up that's going across the roof. And as you can see, I think it looks really well. Um, the boarding with the grey, I think it goes quite nicely. Um, so I've put that across. I've made a few chip shot mistakes, as you can see. There, it looks a bit 
Tochi, but I might just take those two boards out, recut that to size, and get it looking a bit more groovy. Now I've left a gap up here uh, of about it's about an inch piece that we need to put in a board because where the light comes up here, I'm going to put it up through behind this uh, covering of the cab. The wire will come up round the back of that across here, and we'll probably have the light mounted there. So I'm going to need to get underneath the carpet to feed the wire through. Um, so I'm leaving just that board out for now, just in case we need to uh, get the wire uh, behind it. But yeah, that seems to be working quite well. What I'm going to do is now, I'm going to crack on with doing the same as I've done here on the back segment and leave that final board on that side um, off, opposite to that side, because that's where the other light's going to be. So yeah, should we crack on with that? I don't even think I've got enough wood to finish that, you know. I might need to nip out to get some more. Essentials. <laughs> I really am loving that wood against the grey, looks super sick. Like I say, I've not filmed much, I've done quite a lot of footage that I wanted to put in and make a video, but it's all just been quite carnage and messy and I didn't know enough to uh, be able to piece it together. But that's a sort of general run through of the electric system, uh, diesel heater, leisure battery, um, and that stuff that we're doing. So now we're going to get onto what we're comfortable with and crack on with doing the board under the roof. Let's do it. Right, so, I've measured this along here, from there to there, nice and snug. And it's 87 centimetres. So, I've cut this board to size using the jigsaw. Woo! Um, and that basically, I'm gonna go the opposite way of that tongue and groove, because obviously we need to leave that side open rather than this side, this side. This side, this side, this side, this time. So, I'm going to put that piece in there like, oh, what a legend, and it fits bang on first time. So, all we've been doing is fit it in place like that, and then on each side, into the into the little, uh, into the little, I don't even know what they're called, the laughs. That's it, the laughs. Just been using these little tiny buggers. They're about an inch, and using this bugger to whack them in. And that has been working. So... We're going to crack on with that, and it's literally just like Lego. Put one in, slot the next one in, chuck a few more nails in, slot the next one in, chuck a few more nails in. You know, if your kids are using nails with Lego, like, you're a bad parent. <laughs> but, yeah, wood, let's do it. Hello. What I have done before I put it on is just chuck two nails in. I'm going to chuck two nails in on this, because it's on more of a curve in this corner because of the way it comes down. So I'm going to put two nails in through, like so. And then I think that'll be a bit... Safer, a bit stronger, a bit better. That's gone in a bit dodgy, but we'll fix it. <laughs> Let's crack on. Voila, that's the first board in. That looks all right. Now, all we've got to do is just chup, 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 chup. Pan come in, like you can see that side. So yeah, should we crack on? I think we should. Oh yeah, all you've got to do is remember as well, as you're doing it, I'll do like two, and then you've got to remember to feed your insulation in, which is oh, up here. I've had to break it in half. So, the insulation. Obviously, this is the insulation we're feeding in, but I just need to split. Right, so I've put three boards in place now. All I need to do is just slide the insulation in. So, I'll just measure it off like so. Yeah, that's about right fit. And then it's too thick to fit in like that. So I need it to be thinner, so I'm just going to take it in half, about there, and that just comes apart, like so. Happy days. And then we can just slide that in. That's what she said. Like so, that's that now insulated and boarded part of the way across. And I'll just crack on with the other ones, and then just slide the rest in as we go. Like so, that's the thing so far. Um, I've run out of boards, so I need to go and get some. Also, while I'm back at the unit, I might as well grab the template that we made for above the cab, so we can cut that out with some decent board, and then we're starting to look some pretty groovy ways. Well, that's flipping done, mate. Doesn't that look sick? Also, check these bad boys out. Damn! Check that. Got the light in. Unit there, that's sends as the reading. We've got USBs ports there, which we've checked and they work. Sick. And also, oh, 
there we go, there's a second one. Happy days. I've been busy, ladies and gents. We've also made a fascia over up there. Check that bad boy. That's gonna get wrapped with carpet and screwed onto the back of that. First things first, I'll put a screw through this board in the cab um, just to keep it in place for now. We're gonna put four nut and bolts across there and then that bad boy is gonna be fitted in place above the driver's cab. Right, that's number one in. I've just drilled through, put a bolt through, gone on the inside of the shelf and uh, put the nut on, um, put a bigger washer on the inside and then done that up and that's sitting fine now. I'm gonna do another one here, one there where that screw is and another one there. Let's crack on, I'll show you when it's done. Look how sweaty I am, man. Red as boiler in here. I've just bolted these four bolts in. So that's now oh, sturdy in the cab. Super sturdy and it's rested on that. I'm not going to screw this in. I'm going to get the fascia now that's going on there, which is here. I'm going to wrap that with carpet, got the spray ready, I'm going to carpet that, and then I'm going to screw that on and screw the fascia into that board, which will keep it in place. And it's looking good. Excited. Let's do it. Got that gorgeously wrapped. Mint. Let's get it on. So now we're looking good, we've got the front and back lights in, that's now fitted. We've put just those cover caps on, the same as we have with these. So that's looking mint across there now, and that's basically just going to be the clothing storage. And that's just a really big area in there, so we're looking good. Right, basically I forgot to do an outro earlier, but um, yeah, thanks for watching that video. We managed to get a load smashed and tomorrow's going to be even greater because we're going to get the bench in, hopefully. Um, and I don't really know what else but hopefully that gets done tomorrow. So yeah, cheers for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.